Hi, this is Danny from TND Productions. A new thing has me bugged right now. With everything going on in the world, a new issue came up last week. It seems that a professor at the University of Southern California, Professor Greg Patton of the Marshall School of Business, was fired because of a simple business communication lecture. Why? He mentioned the Chinese word for that. A video was taken of the incident. If you have a lot of onlookers, and this is culturally specific, so based on your native language, like in China, the, the common word is that, 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 that. So in China, it might be nega, 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 nega. So there's different words that you'll hear in different countries, but their vocal disfluencies of saying that, 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 um, 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 er, er, er. Two things. One is you can put a pause in between your ideas. So you go A, B, C. Some students were offended by this, and they took action by petitioning the dean. Scared by the possibility that each of the offended students would take their $58,195 a year tuition, Professor Patton was fired. Too much action for something as common as one thing in one language sounding like something else in another. This incident kind of reminds me of the 1988 movie Alienation, when Mandy Patinkin's character, Francisco, comments about James Conn character's name. What's it bother you uh, if we think your name's funny? It doesn't bother you, right? That is exactly so. It is like your name, Sykes. I'm sure it doesn't bother you at all that to us it sounds just like Sykes. Two words in my language which mean excrement and cranium. Shithead. So I researched to find some more examples of this. Just a warning. If you are offended by some words that sound like others, this video may offend you. Now that the disclaimer is out of the way, on with the video. First, let's talk about a difference between British English and American English. In America, you may go to a doctor to get a shot in the fanny. Or your mother probably spanked you on the fanny when you were little. That being said, fanny in American English just means butt or bottom. In British English, however, fanny isn't as innocent. It's a slang term for a woman's private part. In Germany, your friend might ask you if you want some of his dick milk. He says he likes to use it for pancakes. That's okay, because your friend is simply offering you some buttermilk. In Sweden, people go to a restaurant because of a good cock. This cock satisfies the customers at the restaurant indiscriminately. This cock has years and years of training to perfect the art. This restaurant isn't being seedy. A cock is simply a chef in Swedish. The Powhatan Indians of modern day Virginia and North Carolina always admired Asapanik. To English speakers, Asapanik sounds like extreme diarrhea, when in fact it's what the Powhatans call a flying squirrel. Speaking of which, if older Koreans go to a Mexican restaurant, they may avoid salsa for their nachos. This is because the word for this zesty Mexican sauce means diarrhea in Korean. If you go to Holland and see someone pointing at things and saying, die, 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 don't be alarmed. He is not a psycho. He's just pointing and saying, that one, that one, that one. You may think Romanians are very much like a Quentin Tarantino movie. They always say fuck all the time, maybe three times a minute. If you know Romanian, you know fuck is the word for I. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> there is a magazine in Denmark called Fart, all about the need for fart. The magazine is for fart enthusiasts. One article in the magazine is titled Fart Monster. This is not a magazine for celebrating flatulence. Fart is a Danish word for speed. It's a hot rod magazine. 
Wow! <laughs> if you're from Brazil, be careful going to Portugal and having random conversations with people. That's because, just like English, Portuguese is slightly different wherever you go. For example, Bico is a small or a minimum wage job in Brazil. Bico in Portugal, however, means oral sex. It might cause some strange situations. In Polish, the word for looking for something is szukat. A person who speaks Czech hears this, they may have a different idea. Perhaps you may go see a movie. If you say that in Spanish, perhaps you should rephrase that one for non-Spanish speakers. Because the Spanish word for perhaps is kisas. Este verano, después de visitar Hawaii, uh... <laughs> in Tagalog, there is an expression, Murapuka? Simply, it means, are you going or going somewhere? But to the English ear, that's not open-minded to other languages. It may be offensive. If you're in a marathon in Denmark, you don't run to the finish line. You run to the slut spurt. Well, there's a list of foreign words that sound different in other languages. About Professor Patton, we stand by him. He did nothing wrong. He was just giving a lecture. The students who were offended have to learn that not every language uses the same offensive words. The University of Southern California should give him his job back. What do you think? Was this a case of something blown out of proportion? A simple misunderstanding, maybe? Well, maybe just some sheltered, closed-minded kids. What are some other words in foreign languages that sound offensive? Leave your comments below. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon, and you will be notified when something else like this drops. Until next time. May the force live long and prosper with you until all are one. Thanks for watching. Bye.